If the sun is viewed not merely as an inanimate sphere of hot gas, but as a colossal, constantly operating and self-regulating energy system, then a once sensitive assumption begins to warrant serious consideration. Could the sun recognize things that do not belong to it? This question has almost never been seriously considered because for much of its history, the sun has only interacted with familiar components of the solar system. For billions of years, planets have moved within the sun's stable gravitational pull, inland comets formed from the same primordial source of matter, and the surrounding streams of plasma and cosmic dust all bear a chemical signature that was programmed from the very beginning. All of this creates a familiar order, where the sun remains at the center and interactions follow predictable rules. That balance was only truly challenged when 3i Atlas appeared. This wasn't a typical comet of the solar system, but an object originating from interstellar space, wandering for billions of years before entering the sun's sphere of influence. It wasn't born here, didn't follow the familiar order of dynamics, and many studies suggest it may carry matter with a completely unfamiliar composition. This extraterrestrial element has drawn particular attention from the scientific community. Some researchers hypothesize that as an object like 3i Atlas approaches, differences in its structure and physical properties may create interactions never before observed. From a more cautious perspective, this is simply a new scientific challenge. But from a more intriguing perspective, some suggest that the appearance of 3i Atlas may have inadvertently triggered deep-seated mechanisms within the sun, mechanisms that modern science has yet to fully decipher. And it is from here that the question of whether the sun truly recognizes this stranger begins to haunt observers. What truly made the scientific community cautious, even somewhat reserved in their statements, was not the size of 3i Atlas. Astronomers weren't panicking because of its size, but because its dynamic and physical characteristics didn't fit any familiar patterns previously observed in the solar system. First, there's the orbit. 3i Atlas possesses an extremely steep inclination relative to the general plane of the planets, a rare characteristic for inland comets. Its speed is also significantly higher than that of objects bound by the sun's long-term gravitational pull, suggesting it isn't being held back in the usual way. Even more noteworthy, 3i Atlas's orbit doesn't match comet patterns originating from the Oort cloud, considered the source of most long-period comets. All these facts lead to one remarkable conclusion. 3i Atlas appears to be outside the sun's taming, merely passing through its sphere of influence as an outsider. The second factor, and the one that led many scientists to choose cautious silence, lies in the object's composition. Studies of interstellar objects suggest they may possess a different material structure, ionization rates unlike comets that form in our solar system, and even magnetic responses different from what current models predict. This leads to a crucial consequence. As it approaches the sun, 3i Atlas may not simply melt or evaporate in the way familiar comets do. Instead, it is likely to interact directly with the sun's surrounding energy and magnetic field, opening up a scientific gray area where familiar rules begin to become less certain and sensitive questions must be asked. The most striking moment occurred when 3i Atlas began to penetrate deep into the sun's direct magnetic field. Here, the already highly unstable space environment exhibited further inexplicable phenomena. Observational data from the monitoring instruments revealed localized disturbances forming within the corona, the layer of hot gas surrounding the sun, where temperature and energy levels are consistently extreme. Simultaneously, plasma streams that normally follow the familiar magnetic field pattern briefly deviated from their normal course, as if the system were being disturbed by an unusual factor. More notably, solar activity tends to increase around the time 3i Atlas approaches, creating a timing coincidence that scientists cannot easily ignore. What unnerves many researchers is the fact that the sun doesn't react strongly to every comet that passes by. In observational history, countless comets have hurtled past the sun's surface and disintegrated with virtually no noticeable trace. However, with 3i Atlas, a reaction did occur, albeit localized and short-lived. This anomaly has led to a sensitive question, often only discussed in private. Is the sun adjusting its state to adapt to the presence of a completely alien element? This is not an assertion, but a hypothesis that forces science to slow down, because if this question is plausible, then our current understanding of how the sun reacts to the surrounding universe still has many unfilled gaps. 
At this point, it's necessary to clarify a scientific fact that may be difficult to accept, but is crucial to the entire story. Saying that Comet 3i Atlas awakened the Sun does not mean it created or provided additional energy to the Sun. 3i Atlas cannot trigger nuclear reactions in the Sun's core, nor is it capable of causing an explosion or altering the Sun's physical nature. These limitations have been clearly confirmed by science. However, what particularly caught the researchers' attention lay at a more sophisticated level. 3i Atlas has the potential to disrupt the microscopic equilibrium that exists in the extremely sensitive energy environment surrounding the Sun. In plasma and magnetic physics, even a very small disturbance can cause regions under high stress to release energy sooner than expected. This mechanism is often not readily apparent because it occurs silently and continuously. A common analogy used by scientists is the image of a dust particle falling into a jet engine. The dust particle itself isn't powerful enough to destroy the massive machine, but it can expose weaknesses that already existed within the system operating at maximum capacity. Similarly, 3i Atlas may have passed through regions of the sun's magnetic field at its highest tension, where energy had accumulated and was just waiting for the right conditions to be released. According to some analyses, the presence of 3i Atlas may have exposed unstable magnetic field structures, accelerating the release of energy and making nascent phenomena more observable. In other words, this comet didn't create anything new, but rather made it clearer what had existed before, but remained hidden. It is at this point that the concept of awakening the sun truly becomes plausible, not as an explosive act, but as an unintentional impact revealing the energy state that the sun has always possessed. At a deeper level, the concept of awakening the sun needs to be understood as a process of revealing its state, not an act of detonation. Scientifically, 3i Atlas does not carry enough energy to directly impact the sun's core, where nuclear fusion occurs, nor can it alter the overall structure or disrupt the star's long-term equilibrium. These limitations are widely agreed upon by the scientific community, but this very certainty highlights another, more subtle and unsettling reality. The sun is not always in the absolute stability that humans imagine. Studies of plasma physics show that the sun's surface and corona are extremely sensitive systems where magnetic field lines are constantly being stretched, twisted, and accumulating energy. Under such conditions, even a very small disturbance can act as the last straw, causing energy to be released sooner or in a more observable way. The appearance of 3i Atlas, with its interstellar origin and distinct physical properties, may have created precisely that kind of micro-disturbance as it entered the sun's magnetic field. Some scientists liken this phenomenon to a system operating at maximum capacity being lightly touched at its weakest point. The external factor itself isn't strong enough to cause damage, but it exposes areas already under significant stress. In the case of 3i Atlas, this could mean it passed through regions of highly stressed magnetic fields where energy had accumulated and was just waiting for the right conditions to escape as an eruption or plasma turbulence. The chilling aspect of this story lies here. If that interpretation is correct, then Comet 3i Atlas didn't create a new state for the sun, but rather brought an existing state to the surface. The phenomena observed by humans weren't entirely unusual reactions, but rather processes that had been silently occurring, now brought to the observational surface. From a purely scientific perspective, this is an example of random interaction within a complex system. But from a more intriguing perspective, it suggests a compelling hypothesis. The sun may be in a more sensitive state than we realize, and sometimes even a very small external stimulus is enough to awaken what lies dormant within it. It is at this point that the story of Comet Atlas transcends the boundaries of a typical astronomical phenomenon and slips into the intersection between science and an unnameable sense of unease. Awakening the sun is no longer a metaphor, but a state worthy of contemplation. Atlas doesn't possess destructive power, but its appearance is like a strange signal echoing in a system that seemed accustomed to its own rhythm. A stranger passes by and the sun is no longer entirely silent as before. What makes this phenomenon so mysterious is that the sun's reaction is neither loud nor instantaneous. There are no violent explosions, 
no events easily discernible to the naked eye. Instead, there are subtle oscillations in the magnetic field, erratic plasma currents, and energy regions suddenly awakening as if their most sensitive points have been touched. All of this is too subtle to be definitively confirmed, yet too unusual to be considered purely coincidental. Some unofficial theories whispered among researchers suggest that the sun may react differently to what is its own and what comes from outside. For billions of years, it has become accustomed to matter born with it, to its home planets and comets. But Atlas is different. It bears the imprint of a foreign place, a history the sun has never encountered. And it is this difference that may have caused this massive energy system to adjust, even if only momentarily. The chilling truth, therefore, lies not in the comet itself, but in the question it leaves behind. If a tiny object wandering from deep space can cause the sun to exhibit unusual reactions, then the line between stability and imbalance is perhaps more fragile than we imagine. Atlas did not cause disaster, but it was like a whisper from the universe, reminding us that the sun has never truly slept. And sometimes, just a passing stranger is enough to awaken things that remain hidden in silence. The question now is no longer whether the sun reacted to Atlas, but whether humanity was capable of recognizing the full extent of that reaction. In reality, the sun was never entirely silent. A constant background activity existed, with plasma streams in constant motion, and magnetic field lines continuously being stretched and restructured. However, what made the Atlas approach particularly noteworthy was the timing of these local disturbances, which appeared in ways difficult to explain if viewed simply as ordinary random fluctuations. Observations indicate that during the period when Atlas 3i approached, the sun's corona exhibited subtle changes in structure and dynamics. These were not explosive phenomena, but rather small phase shifts in the plasma flow and transient instability of magnetic fields. Taken individually, they might be considered part of familiar background activity, but when pieced together in a long-term context, they began to show an unusual pattern of response, as if the sun's energy system were being impacted by an external factor. A major limitation of current science lies in the very tools of observation. Modern instruments can only record the tip of the iceberg of what happens in the solar corona, where microscopic processes occur at speeds and with complexity far beyond current resolution. Much of the interaction between interstellar objects and the sun's magnetic field likely occurred at the level of tiny particles and plasma structures, where changes, though very real, are almost invisible to humans. It is this observational gap that creates a chilling sensation. If what was recorded is only a small part of a deeper chain reaction, then the possibility that the sun reacted more violently than we saw cannot be ruled out. Atlas in that case was not just a passing comet, but an inadvertent agent that led humanity to realize that the sun can awaken in subtle, sophisticated ways beyond the direct observation of modern science. It was at this moment that science entered a rare period of deliberate silence. In the study of the sun, scientists have always emphasized that coincidence in time does not equate to causality. The fact that 3i Atlas entered the sun's sphere of influence at the same time as unusual disturbances was, in principle, insufficient to draw any definitive conclusions. This is a fundamental rule to prevent science from sliding into speculation. However, it's noteworthy that researchers are not quick to dismiss the possibility of a connection. This caution stems from the very rarity of 3i Atlas, an interstellar object not part of the solar system, appearing simultaneously with subtle changes in the corona and magnetic field structure is a scenario that traditional models have never been designed to fully handle. In this case, silence becomes a safer option than denial. Much data has been recorded, from plasma fluctuations to signs of local instability, but it is not enough to piece together a complete picture. Scientists are forced to admit that they are seeing fragmented pieces, while the connections between them remain beyond current understanding. Rushing to conclude that 3i Atlas is completely unrelated could mean overlooking a novel, previously undescribed interaction mechanism. This silence creates a sense of mystery that permeates the entire story. It suggests that there are things that have been observed, recorded in data, but cannot yet be fully interpreted in the language of science. And in the gap between those numbers and models, 
The role of 3i Atlas remains a lingering unanswered question, keeping the hypothesis that this comet awakened the sun-haunting researchers and those following the story from afar. Alongside cautious analyses, there persists a hypothesis that has caused many unease, though it has never been officially confirmed. Some suggest that the sun may react differently to domestic objects and entirely external elements, not in the sense of conscious awareness like a living organism, but as a vast physical system capable of recognizing anomalies when familiar conditions are disrupted. From this perspective, for billions of years, the sun has perfectly adapted to the matter that formed alongside it. Planets, cosmic dust, and inland comets all follow the rules and properties that the sun's magnetic field has become accustomed to. But 3i Atlas is different. With its interstellar origin, it carries the physical and chemical imprint of a completely unfamiliar environment. When Atlas entered the sun's sphere of influence, it was like a strange signal entering a system optimized for familiar signals. This hypothesis doesn't assert that Atlas caused any specific reaction, much less that the sun was aware of its presence. However, it raises an unsettling but thought-provoking question. Were the disturbances that occurred during Atlas's approach a manifestation of an energy system trying to adjust to an element outside of its usual pattern? This question remains unanswered, but its very existence is enough to make the story of Comet Atlas and the moment it awakened the sun far more haunting than a typical astronomical phenomenon. What makes the story even more frightening isn't 3i Atlas itself, but the broader context it evokes. Our galaxy contains billions of star systems, and along with them, trillions of rogue objects ejected from their parent systems during the formation and collapse of the universe. The vast majority of these drift in the interstellar darkness, unlit, leaving no discernible trace and nearly unobservable with current instruments. In that context, 3i Atlas may not be an isolated case, but simply the first object that humans have managed to detect and track long enough to question. This realization opens up an unavoidable line of thought. If 3i Atlas, with its relatively modest size and characteristics, was already enough to coincide with subtle solar disturbances, what would happen if another interstellar object, larger, denser, or possessing stronger magnetic conductivity, entered the sun's sphere of influence? The question becomes even more concerning when considered in the context of the sun's 11-year activity cycle, especially during peak periods when the magnetic field is already unstable and accumulated energy reaches high levels. In that scenario, the impact is no longer just subtle, hard to observe changes. An extraneous factor appearing at a critical moment could increase the potential for energy release on a larger scale, making outbursts more violent and unpredictable. At this point, what was once considered a cautious hypothesis is moving closer to the boundary of a possible scenario. And that is the most chilling aspect of 3i Atlas. It's not just a comet passing by the sun, but a reminder that humanity still lives in a universe where unobserved elements can appear at any time, and the sun, the center of life on Earth, may be more sensitive to these outside visitors than we ever thought. Throughout modern history, humanity has viewed the sun as an absolute constant, a stable source of energy illuminating and sustaining life virtually unaffected by the outside world. But the story of 3i Atlas forces a change in that perception. The appearance of this interstellar comet shows that the sun is not isolated from the surrounding universe, but is constantly reacting, adjusting, and adapting to the elements passing through its sphere of influence. The most chilling truth is that the threat doesn't necessarily have to be directed straight at Earth. Some impacts only need to touch the sun first, activating or revealing latent energy states then allowing the consequences to spread in ways that humans cannot control or predict accurately. Atlas didn't bring catastrophe, but it left a huge question mark, enough to make scientists wary and observers ponder. If you want to continue following stories about the universe, where science, mystery, and unsolved theories intersect, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next analyses. Because out there, in the seemingly quiet expanse of space, there are still many phenomena waiting to be seen.